I'm Trev Hutchings and this is my BandLab D-Delay Plus tutorial. Now to add the D-Delay Plus to your track, double tap on the track header, then tap on effects. And if you don't already have a preset, you can tap on the plus icon to create a preset. Or if you already have a preset, you can tap on the preset editor icon. Now, if you already have an effects chain, the place you want to put the D delay effect normally is after all the other effects except the vintage limiter or reverb. So here, my last effect is the vintage limiter. So I'm going to tap on the effect before that which happens to be the chorus ensemble. So now when I tap on the plus icon, then scroll through the tabs and tap on the delay tab, and then tap on D delay plus, the D delay plus will be added between the chorus effect and the vintage limiter. Now for the settings, the first one we've got here is time. And time sets how quickly the delay echoes repeat. And at the moment it's set to one quarter beat. And the beat means it will be in sync with your song. So at one quarter beat, it means that the D delay echoes will be in time with each beat of the song. It's a Now, if you tap on beat, it will set it to MS, which is milliseconds. And now it will no longer be synced to your song. It'll be specifically at a timing. So even if you were to change the tempo of your song, these echoes will still be at this specific timing. It's a Now, if I drag the dot on the time slider to the right, the time delay between each echo will be longer, so the echoes will take longer to appear. It's a slippery And then if I move the time slider to the left, it will reduce the milliseconds. So the echoes will be faster. It's a slippery and if I press on MS again, it goes back to beat. So now it's synced back to the song and now if i move the time slider to the left i can move it to one over eight which means the echoes will now repeat every half beat it's a And if I drag the time slider to the right, I can move it to one over two. And now there will be one echo every two beats. It's a slippery it's a slippery slide, 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 slide. Now I'm going to set that back to one over eight. Next up, we've got the feedback. And this sets how long the delay echoes will continue for. So basically it sets how many delay echoes there will be. And if I drag the feedback slider to the right, there will be more 
echoes and it will last longer. It's a And if I drag the feedback slider to the left, there'll be less echoes and therefore the echo will go on for less time. It's a slippery rubber slide, slide out. And for now, I'm going to set that back to 20. Now, high pass removes the lower frequencies that could muddy up your track. So if I move the high pass slider to the right, we will remove some echoes, low frequencies. It's a slippery The low pass slider removes high frequencies that could also muddy up your track. And if I drag the low pass slider to the left, we will remove some echoes, high frequencies. It's a slippery rubber slide. Now the next setting is dry, and dry sets how much of the original audio sound can be heard. So if I drag the dry slider to the left, I will reduce the volume of the original sound. It's a slippery Wet sets the volume level of the delay echoes. So if I drag the wet slider to the left, I will reduce the volume of the echoes. It's a slippery rubber slide, slide up and down. And if I drag the wet slider to the right, I'll increase the volume of the echoes. The volume slider sets the overall output volume of the effect, so basically it's like a gain control. It's a slippery rubber slide. And spread sets how wide in the stereo mix the delay echoes are. So if I drag the spread slider to the left, the echoes will move to the center and be more mono. It's a slippery rubber slide. And if I drag the spread slider to the right, it'll pan the echoes out to the left and right in the stereo mix. It's a slippery rubber slide, slide up and down. Now, if you set the spread slider to the left, so it's on zero, the echoes, if you've got the vocals in the center, the echoes will actually be right behind the vocals and can make it so the vocals are a little bit muddied up by the echoes. And if you drag it all the way to the right, it'll move the echoes away from the vocals if they're in the center, but the echoes then could muddy up some of your other instrument sounds. 
So setting it back to the original, which is 50%, most of the time is pretty much where you want to be, or maybe a little bit less, maybe somewhere around about 30. Now it's all very well and good having all these settings explained, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you some settings. The first one just for using the delay to thicken up the sound. So to do that, I'm going to set time to 150 milliseconds or thereabouts. I'm going to set feedback to 15 or thereabouts. High pass to about 700. Low pass to about 3,300. Dry or leave on 100%. Wet, I'm going to set to 15. Or thereabouts. Volume left at 0 dB, and I'm going to put the spread at around 30, which is what I've left it at. And now these settings will basically use the delay echoes to thicken up your vocals. Now, if you want to hear the difference, you can use the toggle switch, the on off toggle switch. So if I click on the on off toggle switch now and turn off the delay and play, and then while it's playing, I then press on the toggle again, you'll be able to hear the difference between the delay on and off. It's a slippery rope we slide, slide up and down. And the other example I'm going to show you is using the delay as a reverb effect. So I'm going to set Feedback to about 30. I'm going to set the time to a synchronized time of 1 over 8. I'm going to set the high pass to 200. Set the low pass to 6000 or thereabouts. Dry, I'll leave on 100. And I'm going to set wet to 30. And I'm going to move the spread up to about 70. It's a slippery rock we slide. Now the only other thing that I want to show you here is the delete icon and if you press on the delete icon you will delete the de-delay effect. And if you've deleted it by accident you can click on the undo icon to put it back in again. And the settings that you last had in there should be still there. It's a slippery if you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers!